the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends so in today's lecture we are getting into pandas as mentioned we have actually completed the base of the python okay so now we are getting into a lot more bigger things uh, such as the modules there are three main modules in my understanding numpy panda science science pi sci pi so what i will do is i'll be uploading numpy and panda side by side one day in english and the other day in tamil <clears throat> So you guys can actually practice and I'll tell you the NumPy is actually used heavily in data science. The Panda is like out and out data analysis. So today is a day of machine learning and you know heavy data analysis and stuff of that nature. So why are we actually doing this? Uh, you know because you need to analyze data. You need to actually understand why this is and what is a particular behavior. I'll give you an example as well. So there are modules here which makes it very powerful and those modules are the NumPy and the pandas of the world. So the panda is basically out and out for data analysis. Now we will take a lot of data sets. So let me actually take you the data analysis is a field that we might be doing without even knowing our understanding. How do I actually say it? Whichever part of the world you are, just look at the local restaurant and let's see how busy they are. So January to February. So do people come and order the regular food or depending upon the season, they order different food and depending upon how they come, whether they come single with a family, uh, with a wife or with a girlfriend, a boyfriend, husband, you know, anything. Uh, what do they actually order and what time of the month and why do they actually do this? So what is the behavior which actually drives this? Have you guys thought about it any time? why a particular business is a hit why a particular car is being sold at what time what time is the peak uh, and why a particular food is being sold on a restaurant why a particular restaurant is a hit so these are all analysis so analysis is always why how when okay if you can actually answer these questions analysis becomes so easy and such a fun Okay, and we are living in a world of analysis and big analytics. So this Panda is a very powerful tool to actually use it. Nothing like combining with the uh, Python. All right. So having said that, we have to deal with a lot of data and data sets and stuff of that nature. So Pandas can actually clean a messy data because the data has a lot of noise, a lot of junk in it. So Panda can actually clean a messy data and make it readable and relevant. Okay, so the pandas is you know used to work with data sets as I said for cleaning, exploring and manipulating data. So this is also super important for data science. Okay, so now we can actually see that. So the pandas can actually give you answers about data like why, what is the average value, what is the maximum value, what is the correlation if there is a correlation and what is the minimum value. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Pandas can also delete the rows that are not relevant or contains wrong values like empty or null values. This is called the cleaning of the data. So what is a correlation? Now say suppose two friends are there and they actually combine, they study, they progress in life. That is called positive correlation. Okay, whether two friends, husband, wife or anything, it's called positive correlation. Now two friends are there, just fun loving friends. They don't go anywhere, you know, in their career or in their personal life. All they do is get into trouble. That is not positive correlation. That is negative correlation, okay? Uh, which is not necessarily nice, okay? And then there is another kind, good person, but somehow it is not moving forward, but definitely not backward. That is called zero correlation. So this panda can actually help you in order to understand all these correlations and can also help to clean the data. Data analysis, the ETL and everything is so important, extraction, transformation, loading. Okay, so that is why this panda is so good and I'm so excited to be here. All right. So let's actually keep hands on. Let's actually try this. In my previous lecture, I would have actually imported NumPy. Now in this lecture, I'm actually importing Panda because we have to import. And this is my data set. I say car is BMW Volvo Ford, comma, passing is 372. And then I say my variable pandas.dataframe 
my data set i say this and i print this okay so the data is slightly messy now see here 0 1 2 cars parsing see how the data set has come in bmb there are three parsings in volvo i've seen seven volvos in ford i've seen two fours so this is like on a road you actually see three bmws uh, three bmws seven volvos and two ford okay so like remember in the in the in in our python we actually created list set tuple dictionary square bracket normal bracket um you know uh, and then flower bracket do you remember this that is exactly it is and see how the data frame has actually come in panda and see how neat it is so this is what the power of panda is panda is all right now what is a panda series is like a column in a table it has one dimensional array holding of a type so let's see what it is okay let's not run anyway so let's see what it is <clears throat> this i need to clean something otherwise like it is going to give me an error all right so i'm importing the panda and i'm actually uh, aliasing as pd okay as pd so this is my first array i say like you know pd series of this a and then i say print let's see what comes uh, there is there is a <coughs> syntax error and let me see what that syntax error is so just give me a second there is some kind of a character here not a problem it is not a problem so what i will actually do is import pandas as pd a equals one comma seven comma two and then i say my war equals pd dot series is yes capital and i say a And then I say print my war. So now I'm pretty sure it's going to work. See here, it is one dimensional. So it says 012, 012, which is normal, 012, and this is 172. It comes it comes in one dimensional. This is integer of 64. Alright. Now labels. Let's see what a label is. If nothing else is specified, the values are labeled with their index number. First value has an index of 0, second value has an index of 1, etc. This label can be used to access a specified value. Okay, what it is? Now, when you actually label in your house, if you have a grocery, okay, and in your grocery, you actually label, okay, this is rice, this is flour, uh, and this is vegetables and stuff of that nature, when you actually see where the vegetable is based upon the label, you can easily identify, right? That is exactly what we're doing. We are importing a panda, aliasing, this is an array, one dimensional, and then this is a series where I make it one dimensional. I want to see what is my first one, which is one. So this is my variable. So it should be one. Let's check. One, that's all. No bigger thing, right? Now let's try some other thing. So import panda, same thing, and then the series as a comma index x y z, and then I'm printing this. Okay, what is this going to give? Let me try. See here. So instead of zero one two, okay, the zero one two, I've actually said this a comma. I said index so index if i don't give it nothing worry nothing no problem okay so series of a if i don't give it nothing to worry but if i say index instead of zero one two if i say like xyz it is a comma index of x comma y comma z in this and then print so it gives you xyz this y this thing all right all right friends i think this is good for lecture number one there are a lot more lectures uh, I'm super excited and we'll be trying a lot. So hang in there and I want to thank you for giving me your time. Till we see you next time. Take care. Cheers. Thank you.